I'm Dominic Singh at the Whirly Bugger Fly Shop. Today I'm going to show you a very popular nymph pattern, the lightning bug. Now, this is a fly that was actually developed on the Yakima River by Mr. Larry Graham in the 90s. Uh, it's an extremely effective attractor nymph. It's great fished under dry for a dry dropper. Uh, it's great pretty much throughout the year. And uh, we tie this in about a size 12 to 20. All right, to start I am using a Hannock 280BL. This is a Stillwater wet hook. Works great for small nymphs though. And a 330 seconds Cyclop speed. Thread I'm using is a 12 aught Vivas. So first thing I want to do here is kind of seat the bead, put some thread under it so it's not rolling down the shank as you're tying the fly, and then lay down a bit of a thread base here. You want to try to keep the body on this fairly slim, so I just make one pass the thread back and one up essentially. Uh, tails I'm using are pheasant tail. You want the tips about a hook shank in length. Throw a loose wrap down to situate them right. that. Alright, now I'm going to tie in a section of ultra wire. This is the brassy size. At this point I'm going to trim off the butts of the pheasant there, even with the wire. Right back a bit. Now I'm going to tie in the body. This is some purple holographic tinsel, medium. Lay that down there, in that upper third of the body, and then wrap back. That just builds up a very slight taper. All right. I'm going to add a couple more wraps just at the top of the abdomen, build up that taper a little more. It's just very subtle. And wrap that tinsel up. Tied off in the thorax area here. Now segment with the wire. And for the wire, I'm just going to wrap that up to the bead here. Pull it off. Now for the thorax, I'm using a medium pearl tinsel. Just going to tie that in on the very top. Make sure it's secure. And now we're ready to tie the thorax. So I'm going to use a blend of two different kinds of dubbing here. This is the Senyo's Fusion Dub in the Muppet color. Nice purple blend, a little bit of flash, and the Semi Seal in Fuchsia by John Romer. Just blended those two colors together nicely there. And take a small amount of that. And just kind of get a loose dub. I like to tighten it up at the bottom here, keep the top kind of long strands and then you'll see how that kind of puffs out like that builds that leggy thorax a couple wraps of that Get the dubbing and now fold the thorax up and pull tight on the top to get that level build up a little kind of bubble over it Wrap in front, trim. And for the final step, I'm going to add some legs. So for this, I'm just taking a pinch of pheasant tail fibers again. And just laying a small number of those on either side of the bead. Good way to do this, just tie them in long like that and then slowly 
adjust the length by pulling on the back. So once you have them where you want, clip the ends. And you're ready to tie off. I like to uh, cinch the thread under the bead a bit, so I'm just kind of digging in with my nail there to just get that thread locked under the bead. So it's not all exposed there like that. And for added durability, I'm going to add a little bit of Solares bone dry on top. I just add a very small amount to the thorax. And then just pull it up to where the thread and the bead meet there. So just a small bubble of that and then hit it with the light. And that's the finished lightning bug. Extremely effective nymph on the Acoma. Great little dropper for dry. And fishes just about year round on the river. All materials can be found at our shop, so give us a call or order online.